This is the 2023 Fleetwood Fortis 36Y. We're going to give you a tour of the outside first, then the inside, and then I'll give you my pet peeve, Sherry's favorite feature, and a build quality rating. Let's do this. There's a feature in this that you're not going to want to miss. The 2023 Fleetwood Ford is 36Y comes with a 7.3 liter Ford V8 engine that puts out 350 horsepower. Check out the front end. They have full body paint now. This is a really nice looking rig. Let's take a look at the sides. We have chrome mirrors on this model with built-in side view cameras. We have 22 and a half inch tires with Alcoa aluminum rims. As we pass the door, we come to your electrical bay with your inverter and your inverter cutoff. Plenty of storage here, pass through. Another storage bay, which is very deep. These are actually nice. They're plastic, so you can throw anything in there. And another large storage bay here. And another pass-through storage bay. Another, another feature I really like is this. Now, you get a lot of rigs that have what they call outdoor kitchens, but look, this one is an actual outdoor kitchen. It has your griddle, a small refrigerator here. It has a power supply, a cabinet, and a drawer, and a hookup for an outdoor hose, a nozzle right there. So you have water, you have refrigeration, and you have a cooking surface. I love that. You have your half ladder, your rear view camera. You have an 8,000 pound hitch, but I would do the math there because this rig really can't tow 8,000 pounds. We're at the RV show, it's tight. So let's see if we can get to the other side. And while we're doing that, John, I'm just gonna show this color scheme. It is a pretty cool paint job. I mean, the Fortis has only been offered with full body paint for the last two years. And I'm gonna stop right here so that everyone can see all the different color schemes for this particular model. All right, John, let's see if we can get through. Yeah, let's check it out. Uh, we can get to some of it. How convenient is that, John? And yes. then put your heater back here. That's an odd place, in my opinion. But yeah. it's a very different floor plan, right? It is a very different floor plan. Yes. That's probably why. Uh, here you have your city water and your, your black tank flush. This is your Onan 5500. This, this is your surge protector and pass-through storage. Your fuel tank and more pass-through storage. More deep storage. Your wet bay with your black and gray tank. And your... I, I like the layout of this. It's nice, it's clean. It is. I mean, this is a smaller RV, so yes. This is good. I also like that you can get to the water pump easily in case you need to make repairs. Pass through storage. And I'll your, squeeze in here. <laughs> your propane, your propane tank. tank. <laughs> the outside is beautiful, but wait till you see the inside. Hey, John, before we go in, should we give them some specs on this RV? Oh, sure. This vehicle is so new, we don't have the information on it. It's not even on their website. But we do know it has an 80-gallon fuel tank. It is 38 feet, 11 inches long, 
and it's 12 feet, 10 inches tall. And if they post the specs before this video comes out, we'll put the information in the description below. Let's go. Ha, this is a really comfortable seat. This is a nicely laid out dash. You have your rear view cameras here and your side view cameras. Over here you have your Apple CarPlay your Sony uh, screen for your navigation. I must say, John, though, I do prefer the older layout for that screen right here. It's, I think it's a little bit more challenging for the driver to see it, but it's it, a little bit it easier is. for the passenger. Yes, it used to be here, so it was really nice. Now, your climate controls are easy for the passenger to reach. You also have some storage here and behind here where you can't see. Okay, John, well, let me see what the passenger seat's like. Sure. This is comfortable. Uh, looks like it's it, very similar to other Fleetwood gas models, how this workstation is situated. And it uh, seems pretty sturdy. Oh. Now, I'm not liking this gap here, but we'll talk about that later. Yeah. Okay, let's go see some more of this. Yeah, let's go. These chairs spin around and you can put a table right here where I'm standing. Makes a nice workspace. Behind me we have these three cabinets. And they're very deep and they're pass-through. On the sides you have little netted cubbies on both sides. There is a map light though over here, John. There's two. There's one here and one right here. And the switches are up here, which doesn't seem as convenient as having it down on the dash, but above my head is your drop-down bunk. Let's go into the living area. Uh, there's a nice, soft, comfortable couch here in this one. I like this. It feels is it comfy? Very, it is. It's very soft. It's very, very soft. Now, does that turn into a bed at all? Can you check it out Let and see? Let me see. It has. Oh, yes. It's a jackknife. And there you go. It's very easy. Now, if you lie down in it, let's see, you're 5'6". Five, 5'6", six. Five, six, so I don't think it's for a 5'6 person. So this is probably more so for a kid. Yes. Okay. You can put a kid on here, <laughs> but not, not, not an, an adult. adult. <laughs> well, you can if the adult is under 5'5", five, five, maybe? Yeah. Maybe my height. Yeah, maybe your height. Now, what's up above the sofa, John? We have three cabinets and they pass through and they're pretty deep. Oh, those are very spacious. They Look are. At that. They go way in. I like that. And I like that they stay up on their own. That's really nice too. I've seen some that don't. Uh, this I think is interesting. In this particular model, they have an L-shaped dinette. And for some reason, I kind of like it. That is nice. Now, is that, that looks like that might also convert into a bed. I believe it does. Is there like a little slat right there that comes out? No, I believe the table goes into this little, on this, uh, this ledge. Oh, okay. And then you can move the cushions around and put them down there. And I love this huge window. That's very nice. I like the fact that there's a huge window on the passenger side of yes. the RV. And you can open up the windows. Yes. That's the perfect spot for it. But, John, I do have a question about that television. It doesn't seem like there's really a good viewing area for it. Well, take a look at this. Oh, so, okay, let me sit on the couch. Yeah. And so now I can see that television comfortably. Yes, you can. I was worried, but I feel much better now, John. And then it has a locking device back here for uh, travel. There, it's locked for travel now. As we move back, we're going into the kitchen space. I like the countertop in this. That's a really cool, I'm going to get a close-up of this because this is a really, really cool color here. It is. It's a really nice color. Let's see what kind of sink we have. Oh, and they're going to the uh, farm style sinks. All right. So what do you prefer, the double or the farm? I like the farm. Okay. And I like the cabinet here. This is interesting. It's deep, has an adjustable shelf and a power supply in there. 
but it also has this glass. I like that, John. Below the uh, sink, we have extra power here, and we have controls for the fan uh, above us, and we have these three long drawers right next to the sink. Under the sink, this is pretty deep. You can fit a few appliances in there. Well, you, you can put your pots, too, if you have big pots. Oh, that's true. You could do that. I mean, this RV sleeps a lot of people. So it does. You're going to probably do, be doing a lot of cooking. You probably, yes, you will. We have what looks like a plain microwave. It's not convection, I don't think. It is convection, John. Oh, it is? Yeah. Ah, I missed it. So you have both a convection microwave, which is nice, and then down below that. Oh, we do have an oven. I could do so much baking in here. We have a three burner cooktop. And below the stove, we have a large drawer. Ooh, that is large. Yes, it's very large. <laughs> and we have a residential fridge. Now, for all the cooking that you can do, that fridge seems a little small to me. It is a smaller fridge, but this is a Fortis. And, well, but you know what? There's a surprise that we want to show everybody in the back yes. of this, right? There's yeah. something really special about this <laughs> RV. You I think you're going to need a bigger fridge. You probably will. Okay. Right here, outside the bathroom, we have your controls, your precision circuit controls, which controls your lighting, your awnings, your thermostat, your utilities, everything. Is that new? It Can is. It has a lock? lock feature. You know, well... Once you see the back of this, you'll probably know why they put a lock feature on it. All right, right here, we have a full bath. And inside we have two cabinets. This one is pretty deep, has an adjustable shelf in the middle. This one also has an adjustable shelf. And it's actually three cabinets. Another one with a very small adjustable shelf. Nice. And below the sink, a larger storage space, which actually goes back behind here. So you can store things all the way back. How do you like this? I see they're going back to chrome. <laughs> and your toilet. Um, Uh-oh, what's the problem? This seems a little high for me. Really? The floor should be here. Oh, John, you know why? It's The toilet is not on the floor. I could swing my feet on the toilet. <laughs> Bringing back memories from when you were a kid. And uh, this might be an issue, too. Okay, wait, wait. The creaky door. Let's see if we can stop this creaky door. Wow, John, that is quite a step up. Uh, oh okay, my. wait, wait. You had to actually grab on to this. To step it up into that shower. <laughs> yes. So, do we need a ladder for this shower? Uh, we need a step. <laughs> we need a step. Okay. Okay. Well, I mean, it's a little... This way is good. But uh, this way is... Well, close the door. Let's see what it's like. It's, it's... <laughs> and folks at home, I apologize for this door. It is creaking like crazy. I'm trying to keep it open. Um, yeah, you'd have to shower sideways. <laughs> okay, John. And Great you're 5'6". Yeah, it's not much taller than me. Okay. Watch your step. Uh, yeah, you have to be very careful. So if you have kids, you might want to help them in and out of there. <laughs> All right, across from the refrigerator, we have more storage. Adjustable shelving in that and in that. And you have your fuse panel and your breakers. Let's go into the master bedroom. Here we have uh, a bed with the two nightstands and two windows. So it brings in a lot of light here. Let me uh, check out the... Yes, this is a CPAP station. It has an opening in the back for your hoses. Now there's some controversy about having a CPAP up there versus being able to put it on a shelf, right? There is. Yeah. Some people say it's not good to have it above your head. Right. Like that. These are very deep. So, across from the bed, we have 
these large wardrobes. Wow, that's that pretty nice. nice. And it has a matching one on this side. So you have plenty of space for clothes. And look at all these drawers, John. Let's go through they those. Are. Two matching drawers here. And then eight larger drawers. They're not very deep. No, they're not. Yeah. But there are a lot of them. There are a lot of them. You have a control here for your entertainment system. And more storage. Now, John, people call this hidden storage, but I don't think it's hidden storage anymore. Everybody every knows about it. <laughs> it's not so hidden. <laughs> we'll call it the not-so-hidden hidden storage. Yes, the not-so-hidden. And where Sherry is standing, there is a pocket door there as well. So you can seal off Bye. this area. <laughs> oh, wait. Is it tough? A little Ow. stiff, but it's... Ooh. Ooh. That was My good. finger got caught in that. Yeah. My finger got caught as it was closing right in here. So yeah. it's something to be mindful of, especially if you have kids. Yes. Yeah. Now, this is the feature we're excited about. The big reveal. The big reveal behind this door. Did you want to go in, Sherry? I want to say one thing. What? If you are thinking about bunk beds for your kids, you might want to reconsider and think about something like what's right behind us because this is very unique to Class A RVs. It's something that people have seen in travel trailers yep. or in fifth wheels, but I've never seen a second bedroom in a Class A RV. Never. Okay. Doesn't mean it's not out there, but I've never seen one. Have you seen one? I've never seen one. Never. Okay. And we've been going to a lot of these shows. We have. Okay. So here we go. This is the second bedroom. It's meant for kids, but I could see how you could turn this into a second bedroom for just about anyone, if they're not too wide. <laughs> or tall. Uh, no, I, I oh, think no. It's, it's pretty long. It is pretty long, you're right. Yeah, John, why don't you hop up on there? Oh my gosh, really? <laughs> Guys, this is really cool. All right. Oh, it's longer than I thought. All right, so up to, if your guess is about 5'7", yeah. I think they could fit nicely in here. But this is really meant for kids, and I think this is it really is. an ultimate kid space. Why don't you stay up there, John? Relax for a little <laughs> bit. This is an ultimate kid space. So right here, you have this couch. But, got John, let's yeah. see if this couch converts. All right, let's check it out. And I'm going to let you take over again. Oh, it does. Okay, so this is a jackknife. Yes, it is. Which is nice. Let me put little guy up here again. There you go. Oh, and this slides over. Okay, so you can move it back and forth. Yep, and now what's under here, John? Oh, look at that. Your combo washer dryer. Now, John, some people might be asking what happens when the kids have to use the restroom at night? Do they have to walk ah. through your bedroom? Well, come on in. They have their very own bathroom. Yes, they do. In the rear of the coach. And it has a medicine cabinet and storage underneath the sink. That's pretty neat. And now, sit down on that toilet, John. Oh, this is much better. <laughs> <laughs> this is really nice. Now, I'm gonna close the door on John, <laughs> and I'm gonna turn around here, and you can see across from the bed there's an entertainment area. Across from the bed is an entertainment center for the kids. So you have your television. You have enough space under here. Let's say they have an Xbox or a PlayStation. And then some storage space off to the left. And then you have these nice sized drawers for them to store their clothing, games, whatever. Okay, John, you can come out again. <laughs> you were very patient. That was very yes. nice of you. If you're enjoying our content, Subscribe and hit the like button and put in the comments down below what you like and dislike about this unit. And now it's time for my pet peeve and Sherry's favorite feature and the build quality rating. Come on over, Sherry. Okay, John, what's your pet peeve? Oh my gosh, I don't know. This is such a new unit. It, it was hard to find anything that I didn't like about it. I mean... Especially with this feature in the back here, this is wonderful. But you're doing a like, not a 
I okay. I know your pet peeve. What? You just don't remember because that was just like so five minutes ago. Oh my gosh, the toilet. Yes. That was your horrible. feet were dangling. That You're a grown horrible. man, and your feet were dangling from oh, the toilet. That was horrible. So uh, is that your pet peeve? That would be my pet peeve. Okay, now my favorite feature has to be. I I almost wish my I wish my son were younger, but <laughs> this bedroom is my favorite feature. I just think this is so fantastic. And I think too that you know this would be really nice if they can go if you can convert this to like an office space oh, yeah. or something like that too. I think it would be perfect. But I really like this. I like what they've done with this Fortis. It's great. Now it's time for the build quality. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. We've gone through and we've taken a look at a few things. Um, so we'll start with the bathroom door, John. Why don't you do that? Yeah. This thing is creaking a lot and we noticed that the hinges aren't standard door hinges. I don't know where they got these kind of hinges from. And they're not even, right? They're not put in, yeah, they're a little crooked. Uh, and that's something that's very easy quality thing. Yeah, it shouldn't make so much noise. Okay, so that was one thing. The next yes. thing is we're going to go to this pocket door right here where yes. my finger got caught in, got the door. caught in it. So I guess you have to I can't There's pull it. There's a handle here. Oh. On the other side. So maybe and I this think, is user error, but yeah. okay, let me see. They prefer that you use the little handle. But you Did that just crack. Uh, <laughs> I I think it's stuck on something. I can't open it. I think it's stuck. I got my finger stuck the first time, and now I can't open it. Yeah, there's so that's something number two. wrong with the door. And let's go to the third thing that I saw, and that was up in the passenger seat. Um, looking at the passenger seat, let me climb this over this right here. I see where they kind of caulked this piece, but there's like a huge gap. As you go down, the gap just gets bigger and bigger. Um, we, and then, of course, this is still loose. This is a problem that we talked about over a year ago, the last time we were here. Remember, John? We did. Yeah. We did. Okay. Well, I really love this unit. I love the way it looks. I beautiful. love it, too. Uh, given the things that we saw, what would you give the bill quality rating? I would give it an 8. I mean, for the most part, it seems pretty solid. It is pretty solid. There are a few things that are loose, but I think they're things that are easy to fix. Yeah. Um, I'm not quite sure what happened with that door, mm, but um, we told them about it and they went right in. They went right in, to yeah. To fix it, so um, those are little things, right? They are. Yeah. Okay, so we'll give it an A. That's it for this one. We're on to the next one and catch some more RV tours right over there. Yay, not on my face.